research done by our institute, IFS, have shown that the falling investment in infrastructure and the failure to reverse the trend is because the country's fiscal space has been severely restricted by the combined impact of low public sector revenue. As I mentioned, fiscal space meaning revenue and expenditure. There's no space. It's been severely restricted by the combined impact of low public sector revenue mobilization, high spending on employee compensation, an excessive debt service burden, and rising spending on goods and services in recent years. The severely restricted fiscal space is seen in the fact that just two expenditure items in our economy, just two, employee compensation and debt service have been consuming a growing share of government revenue over the years with total expenditure on the two items rising from 65.3% of government revenue and grants in 2012 to 99.7% in 2019 and 121.4% in 2020. Meaning, now we have to borrow money before we're able to pay our workers and pay our debt. Our revenue as a nation can't pay our workers and pay our debts. We have to go and borrow. And for 2020, we have to borrow 21% more, 21%, 21.4% more to pay just that, sorry, just that. We don't have enough revenue to pay our workers. We don't have enough revenue to pay our debt. We have to borrow to do this. So how do we have money for infrastructure? Thus, there has increasingly been less revenue available to the government for infrastructure investment and other outlays. With borrowing the only recourse to build infrastructure leading to the curtailed spending on infrastructure projects. <laughs>